I found one of the wildest YouTube channels out there. It's called Hominid History Hub. The channel was created just four months ago, and in that short time, it's pulled in 71 million views and gained 321,000 subscribers, all from only 35 videos. Here's the crazy part. Those 71 million views could have earned around $310,000 in ad revenue. Yep. All that in just four months using faceless videos made with AI. Now, if you're wondering how this channel grew so fast and how you can do the same thing, stick around. I know exactly how they did it because I also run faceless YouTube channels. Today, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how these videos were made and how to automate the entire process with just a single click. This automation writes the scripts, creates the videos, and stitches them together to match Hominid History's editing style, all using a tool called N8N. I'll show you the exact setup I use to build automations that have helped me grow successfully faceless channels. So, let's take a look at this channel. As you can see, it's called Hominid History Hub. It's only uploaded 35 videos, yet it already has almost 320,000 subscribers. If we click on more, we can see the channel was created less than four months ago, on July 9th, 2025, and it's already racked up 71 million views. And get this, those views aren't from shorts. The channel doesn't even have a short section because it hasn't uploaded any. It only posts long-form videos. So, how is it getting so many views? Well, here's my reason. Thanks to AI, we can now generate videos and thumbnails that look like this. A group prehistoric humans that look part monkey, part human, carrying a massive tiger. That's instantly intriguing. It makes you want to click. But of course, that alone isn't enough. If people click and don't keep watching, the video won't get pushed by the algorithm. So, the video itself has to be engaging too. And with AI, you can now create all kinds of wild, visually fascinating content. Take this one, for example. It shows prehistoric humans fighting a tiger. It's chaotic, primal, and weirdly mesmerizing. People just can't look away. If we check out the most popular uploads, one video alone got 41 million views in just a month. Another has 9 million. Another 8 million. This channel is making serious money, and it's all possible because of AI. So, let's click on the most popular one, the 41 million view video, and take a closer look. It's basically a prehistoric monkey-like human getting attacked by a snake. That's it. Just random but captivating AI-generated scenes. Snakes attacking humans, humans fighting tigers, and every bit of it was created with AI. That's wild. Now we're going to to automate script writing, image creation, video creation, and video editing using a tool called N8N is a workflow automation platform that lets you connect different apps and build AI-powered workflows, all without writing a single line of code. If you don't have N8N set up yet, check out my previous video where I walk you through the entire setup process. Once you've got N8N running, click Create New Workflow or Start From Scratch to begin. You can also skip the manual setup by using my ready-made template. Just click the link below to join our community and download the full workflow file. Then, inside N8N, click Import from File and upload the template you just downloaded. As you can see, the workflow has now been added and is ready to use. All right, let's get started. I'm going to walk you through how I built this workflow step by step. I've broken it into three parts. I'll execute each step first, then I'll go into each node in the workflow to explain how it works and how it was set up so you can build this yourself. First, let's execute step one, create story, image prompts, and video prompts. As you can see, the story was saved in the story column in the ideas sheet. If we move over to the production sheet, our scenes agent has generated 26 image prompts and 26 video prompts one for each scene. You'll also see image link and video link columns. As we run the next steps, those columns will fill with the generated asset URLs. If we start with the input section over here, you'll see I'm using a schedule trigger. This is the heartbeat. It fires on a predictable interval. Once a day is a good default, so your production doesn't depend on manual clicks. Next, we use a Google Sheets node to get the titles. We read the idea sheet and return one row, where status equals in production. The single row intake is intentional. It prevents duplicate runs, makes debugging easier, and keeps the ledger clean. One idea, one finished asset. The most common failure mode in automated content systems is concurrency chaos. Grabbing too many rows at once and merging outputs one in, one out every time. Then we pass the title into a story generator AI agent that produces a cinematic, primal, and physical scene. Think Homo erectus in the African savanna. Inside the user prompt, we include the title and specify the target word count for the story. If you need a longer story, you can increase this to 500 or even 1,000 words. But for this run, we'll keep it between 50 to 150 words. Once the AI agent generates the story, we send it to the Google Sheets node and store it in the story column. This step ensures you can review or edit the story before passing it along to the next stage in the workflow. After we've saved the story, the next step is to break it down into smaller cinematic beats that can be visualized scene by scene. We do this using the Scene Generation AI agent. This node takes the story we just created and expands it into a structured sequence of scenes, usually between 20 and 26. Each scene represents one clear action, not multiple moments jammed together. The 
AI is instructed to output a consistent format that includes scene number, scene text, scene image prompt, and scene video prompt. We also define the rules for style and continuity directly inside the prompt. The environment is always set in the African savanna. Characters are always homo erectus. Once the scenes are generated, we use a split-out node to separate the array of scenes so that each one runs independently through the next stage. This modular approach means if scene 7 fails to render, it doesn't stop scenes 1 through 6 from completing successfully. After that, we store the scenes in our Google Sheet under a new section called Production Scenes. Each row contains the scene number, its image prompt, and its video prompt. This makes it easy to track and debug later. You'll always know exactly which prompt pr produced which visual. Now that every scene has its own track in the workflow, we're ready to move into the image generation stage where the visuals start to come alive. Now that every scene has been generated and organized, it's time to bring those moments to life visually. We do this using the image generation sub workflow powered by C Dream V4. This is where words turn into frames. Vivid stills that capture the emotion, lighting, and texture of each scene. Clicking on the sub-execution, you'll find the same type of workflow. We're passing these 14 image prompts to the Generate Images node, which uses the C-Dream V4 image model. This model works perfectly for this type of content. We're accessing it via KA.AI, which functions as a marketplace for AI models. This is the endpoint where we're sending our request. You'll also need to include the message body here in JSON format. If we expand it, you can see the structure requested by KA.AI. Looking at the result, you'll notice we're passing the image prompts directly from the Google Sheet. As with all HTTP request nodes, you'll need to set up your credentials. I've already covered how to do this in a previous video and in our setup guide inside the community. Once this node runs, it submits 14 items, all marked in underscore Q. We then use another node to check if they're complete. If they're not, the workflow loops, waits 60 seconds, and checks again. When the status changes to done, it returns all the final image URLs. After that, each image is uploaded automatically to Cloudinary, giving us stable CDN-backed links that won't expire, perfect for reuse in later stages like video generation. Finally, we use a set node to pass the Cloudinary image URLs back to the main workflow. If we go back to the main workflow and open the Create Image sub workflow, we can now see all 14 image URLs ready for the next step. This brings us back to the Google Sheet node. When it runs, it updates the image and voiceover columns automatically. You can review these images and audio clips to make sure everything looks right before we move on to animating them with the video prompts. Now we've reached the final stage, animating the images and combining everything into a finished video. Let's start by running the final Google Sheet node. This triggers the collection of nodes that wrap up the entire process. Once it's complete, take a look at the sheet. You'll see the production status updated to done and a new video URL ready for preview. Click it. And there it is, the full cinematic sequence rendered automatically. Now let's jump back into N8N to see exactly how those images were animated. After storing the images in Google Sheets, we use the Get Images node to pull the latest URLs. This step ensures that even if you've replaced an image manually in the sheet, the workflow will always use the most up-to-date version. In this run, we pulled all 26 items, one per scene. Once those image links are fetched, they're sent into the Create Video sub workflow. Opening that sub execution, you'll see it returns 26 video links, one for each corresponding scene from earlier. Inside the sub workflow, the process is similar to what we used for image generation, but now we're calling the Kai.ai API again. This time, we're using the 1 slash 2.5 video model, a powerful motion based model that transforms still images into living dynamic shots. It not only animates the visuals, but also adds subtle sound effects to match the environment. In the generate video node, we send an HTTP post request to Ka.ai, passing both the image URL and the video prompt. The the body of the request defines how each frame should move. Each scene enters the queue marked in progress. Just like before, we use a get video node paired with an if node to check their status. If a video isn't ready yet, the workflow loops, waits, and checks again, ensuring we never move forward before every file is fully rendered. Once a scene is complete, its video URL is returned and automatically uploaded to Cloudinary. That gives us a reliable high-speed CDN link for each clip, ready for combining and playback anywhere. Finally, all the Cloudinary URLs are gathered and passed back to the main workflow using a 
cassette node. From there, N8N assembles the pieces, 26 scenes perfectly ordered, each with its own motion, lighting, and atmosphere. And that's how the 1 slash 2.5 sub workflow turns static AI images into smooth cinematic video, all inside a single automated pipeline. Now that every scene has been animated, we're ready to combine everything into the final film. If we open the create video node, you'll see all video URLs listed here one per scene. Next, we move into the Google Sheet node. This step stores the generated video URLs, retrieves them again for accuracy, and then passes them into the combined videos sub workflow. If we open that node, you'll notice it produces one final video URL, the same one you just previewed earlier. Now, let's step into the combined scene sub execution to see how it works. Inside, the process is straightforward. We use a code node to build a clean JSON string that contains all the video URLs. This JSON is passed to a self-hosted FFmpeg peg endpoint. Point, which handles the heavy lifting of merging every scene seamlessly into a single cinematic sequence. I've created a step-by-step -step guide on how to install FFmpeg on your own server. It's available inside the community. Next, the workflow creates a status check loop to monitor progress. Since video rendering takes time, we use a get video node paired with an if node to check whether the task is complete. If it isn't, the workflow loops back, waits, and checks again until the system confirms completion. Once the final video is ready, it's uploaded to Cloudinary, giving us a permanent shareable link. Finally, the workflow sends this link back to the main workflow, updates the Google Sheet entry, and marks the production status as done. At this point, everything has come full circle from concept to story to visuals to sound, and finally to a polished cinematic video that was built completely on autopilot.